What's good, Primadonnas? Back again today with another video. And in today's video, I'm super excited because we're going to be playing with a lot of drugstore affordable stuff. Actually, if you can already tell by the title, I'm actually going to be trying new products from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild actually has been killing it lately. They've been coming out with a few new stuff, so i definitely been taking multiple trips to Ulta, girl. I am going to be playing with the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is their new dewy formula, as well as their new primer serum that came out with the foundation, as well as playing with the new Wet n Wild Jungle Rock Collection. This is actually in collaboration with Bretman Rock. So I did pick up a few things from this collection as well, not only the palette, I do have some brushes, I do have some glosses so yeah we do have a lot of new products to play with in this video i haven't done testing out new products video in a while i've just been doing a lot of makeup tutorials so i'm super excited so yeah this is the look that i came up with using everything but if you guys want to know my thoughts on all of the products then keep on watching and definitely hit that subscribe button before you go and yeah guys let's jump into some new wet and wild makeup products i'm high oh, bear with me because i am home alone with autumn i do have her distracted right now on her tablet so let's just pray fingers crossed that she lets mommy film this review yeah i did go to ulta and i did purchase some new wet and wild makeup i was super intrigued to try the new wet and wild this is their new photo focus foundation this is their new dewy formula so if you guys have seen this before this is kind of like an old foundation that they had but they just redid the formula the other one is more of like a natural matte type of um finish this one like i said is more of a dewy finish y'all know that i'm dry skin so i'm all here for dewy finish bitch yes i also seen that they released their primer focus serum so this is what this looks like i'm super excited to try this together as a combo so yeah before we jump into the complexion products and things like that they also did release a collaboration with an influencer i'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with him it is a brett mint rock <coughs> you know what i'm saying <coughs> bitch feel me <laughs> I love watching him. He did a collaboration with Wet n Wild that also came out this week. So I decided to run into Ulta and make sure that I grabbed that. So I am just going to combine the two into this video today and show you guys all of the new Wet n Wild shits. So when I went into Ulta, they didn't have the full collection in stock. So I kind of just grabbed what was available. So this is the new Jungle Rock collection in collaboration with Bretman Rock. So we're going to be jumping into this right now, girl this is what the shades look like look at how gorgeous like he really really did that oh shit i did also pick up two of the brushes Ooh. this is what the brushes look like this whole like tropical vibe of the collection i'm like so here for it i did get an eyeshadow blending brush and this is for the face this is actually a highlighter brush i didn't get the highlighter but honestly they did have like the little tester and it looked like pure glitter so honestly if they did have the highlighter i probably would not have gotten it anyway to be honest i do not like glitter on my face so yeah um i also did pick up two glosses I did pick up the gold one and this really pretty like nude color one. They did have a more pinky one, but that one was sold out and I'm really not even a fan of pink gloss anyway. So yeah. They also do have one more eyeshadow brush. It was just a regular like shader brush. I don't need any more shader brushes. And they also did, like I said, have the face mist which that I was upset that I didn't get, but it was more of one of those face mists that had like shimmer in it. So if you're into that then definitely look for it but i'm just gonna just i'm gonna just let it go but anyway we're gonna be jumping into this first before i jump into the complexion products only because the way i do things here is i have to do my eyes first i do not like fallout i don't know if this has fallout like i said this is a first impressions so i don't want to ruin my face you feel me so i'm gonna be priming my lids this is the Too faced multi-scoped no Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Scoped Concealer. So I really do not know what look I want to do today. Honestly, we're just kind of like winging it. <laughs> um, I'm really feeling these blues here too, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I like to always hold my palette back because my ring light, if I hold it to you this way, it definitely can make things look a lot brighter and more washed out. And this is actually what it looks like 
in person you feel me so okay so i had to kind of like go off camera and figure out what i was gonna do and i decided to do something neutral but don't worry we are gonna do a little tiny pop of color so anyway this is what i came up with i I have to say that the shimmers in this palette is fucking bomb. But anyway, let me show you guys what I did. First thing that I did was go in with the shade Ape Shit. And I'm taking this on a bigger fluffy brush because I'm trying to make this work as my transition shade. My what? <laughs> my transition shade. I'm not gonna lie, I never really tried like wet and wild eyeshadows um in a really long time. Probably like when I first started with makeup, I would have, I probably bought probably one of those old ass wet and wild eyeshadow palettes. But since I started actually doing makeup like for real, I've never used one of those palettes. So this is actually my first time trying like the um, wet and wild eyeshadow formula in a really, really long time. And I must say, I am impressed. Even though this shade looks so dark in the pan, I'm loving how you can actually manipulate it into making it work for you as a transition and i really really like this color another little side note a lot of people in my previous videos thought that i was lit <laughs> in my tutorials because my eyes were so red and i don't know if i mentioned this but i did get new contacts you guys and i thought it was the contacts that i hated them because they would irritate my eyes but I actually just switched the solution to sensitive eye solution and that's been working for me. And the moment I switched the solution, I lost my fucking contacts. So now I'm back to wearing glasses. Now I just have my glasses until I take out the rest of my contacts. But I don't, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen me in glasses. Do you guys want to see my glasses? My new glasses? Let me show you real quick. I feel so weird wearing glasses. I feel like a freaking teacher. But yeah, I did get red and black because red and black is my thing, you know, <laughs> prima donna shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, they're cute to stay in the house, but I don't want to go outside with them. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I prefer my contacts, obviously, because you can see my makeup and stuff more. And yeah, I'm definitely not used to these. I feel like even putting them on, I feel like, whoa, I kind of got a little used to the contacts. But yeah. I just wanted to make a disclaimer. I was not high in my videos. It was just my fucking vision. And I am a blind ass bitch. So I'm going to take a little bit more ape shit. And I'm actually going to pack this on my outer corner. Now, do you see if you use a different brush, how you get a lot more pigment? So you want to basically control the same shade just with different brushes. Now, because of my shirt, my shirt is more like a reddish type of shirt. I decided to actually pop into the shade pounce on them which is this bright red right here in the palette and I actually took this on another big fluffy brush and I literally just did one tiny dab so I want to show you guys how I actually made this color because I, I know here it looks a lot more neutral so I actually took the red and I just blended that right into this area to kind of like mix in with that brown and do you guys just see what that did it actually made like my own little shade okay so now i'm gonna go in with the shade prow which is this oh my nail just dug right into that this is such a really gorgeous color so i went in with this is actually a ColourPop e4 brush it's a really really big shader brush so I went in with this, a nice amount of this, and I actually did spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And now I'm gonna kinda like, not do a cut crease, cause it's not super defined, but I kinda just like tug on my lid. Do you guys see this? Yo. The shimmers in this palette are amazing. I swatched all of them on my IG, like all of the shimmer colors, and I was so impressed. Like. For this being a fucking $15 palette, bitch. So now, for the inner corner, I did take King of the Jungle. Like I said, this is like a dupe for Trophy Wife. It is just that really beautiful, really, really gold color. When I popped it in here, bitch, I gagged, so. Okay girl yes for that little 
pop of gold on the inner corner okay so that was pretty much all i did for shadow now i am going to quickly do another um wing on this eye this is not from wet and wild because my wet and wild one literally just ran out i'm so annoyed but that is one of my favorite drugstore liners it is the wet and wild mega liner in the shade black the best liner you would ever try from the drugstore so okay so i had this bright idea to actually do a little pop of color so i'm actually gonna go in with orange okay and this is actually from suva beauty this is their um hydra fx liners so basically these are kind of like water activated liners and you just add a little bit of drop of water and you can mix it in there and then it turns into the consistency of a regular liner whoa okay I hope this doesn't mess up the look, <laughs> um, but fuck it. You see that? Okay. Whoa. Okay. So I kind of messed up a little bit of the black. So I'm just going to touch that up real quick. And I don't know, for some reason, I feel like the orange just made it more like something jungle rock i don't know i just feel like it looks more with the theme i felt like it was too basic but i feel like this is actually looking really cute okay all right you guys so i'm loving how that's looking especially i just feel like it actually made the little inner corner pop even more so i am done with my little orange graphic liner and i feel like i love the way this look looks a lot more it's just that extra little fun touch but yeah i'm actually gonna put on some mascara and put on my false lashes off camera and then we'll be right back to show you guys the new photo focus dewy foundation and primer so I'm let's right. start off obviously with the serum first things off rip i kind of like want this to be a dupe for the fenty beauty one um only because if you guys have ever tried their new hydrating primer from fenty beauty it is more like a serum -y type of gel and it is so moisturizing and i am obsessed with this primer so if i can find a drugstore dupe and not have to spend all my coins on this this is a hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract refines and nourishes as it preps and primes for extended makeup wear okay so it claims to be hydrating i'm gonna give it a good shake and now i'm actually going to wait okay there we go this on the back of my hand to kind of like warm up the product first okay so off rip it is not like the Fenty one the Fenty one is a lot more thicker this one is a lot more thinner it did leave my skin nice and plump though So it is a little bit tacky, but it's not nothing crazy tacky, not like the Milk Hydro Grip or anything like that. It is a little bit tacky, so it is going to make your um, foundation last a lot longer. Being that this is a dewy foundation, dewy foundations tend to pick up a lot more of the texture of the skin as well as pores and things like that. So every time I am wearing a hydrating or a dewy foundation, I always like to go in with something a lot more pore filling. I don't want to just throw the foundation straight on this because it is gonna pick up all of like my fine lines but this is a nice base if you guys are dry skin and you needed something to give you some hydration so now i feel like my skin is nice and hydrated now i'm gonna go in with this this is the elf poreless putty primer i love this so this is the original one the poreless one and i like to take you know a lot of this because I just love this stuff so much you guys like y'all don't even know this just honestly makes the skin look smooth so this hold on so this made your skin feel hydrated this is gonna make your skin feel smooth okay so <clears throat> okay so now my skin feels hydrated it feels poreless it feels smooth now I feel like I'm ready to go in with the foundation. By the way, I did pick up the shade Golden Beige. I love the fact that it has like a little spatula. So I don't have to like get my hands dirty. 
because usually I'll put it on the back of my hand and then I always tend to walk outside with that damn foundation mark on your hand I hate that shit because I always forget to take it off so this little spatula is clutch right now I will be going in with my elf total complexion face sponge I love this sponge wet and wild actually does have a really good sponge that I've been dying to try but I have not found it at any Ulta or any drugstore so I probably have to order it online but I cannot find the wet and wild sponge but anyways let's do this Ooh, coverage is really nice so I've never tried this foundation before this is actually like a first impressions right now and so far oh look at that it literally looks like skin but I am shook right now like legit shook okay, off rip I can already tell that this is gonna be one of my new like favorite foundations it actually reminds me of the Fenty hydrating foundation this one and this one obviously is like almost $40 this oh wow wow like wow <laughs> wow wet and wild okay because bitch wow it just evened out my skin tone and i feel like this shade is really really good for me this combination of the wet and wild foundation with the new primer serum is bomb you guys like the skin like i don't know if you guys can see it literally looks dewy but not like greasy shiny obviously when i set my face with powder and stuff i feel like the the dewiness of the foundation will definitely seep through in the powder which i love i hate when my skin looks dry and matte you know i still like a little bit of like natural skin like finish for my foundation so yeah you guys this is the foundation on with the primer what do you guys think i'm obsessed bitch i'm obsessed i can already tell like i will be using this a lot i love the new dewy formula in this foundation like i'm hype right now bitch i'm fucking gagging this is not a new foundation though like like less than ten dollars though like we're all here so for that. i'm pretty much done with the face makeup you guys i kind of like kept everything pretty much affordable physicians for physicians formula butter bronzer on the cheeks rimmel stay matte powder on the eyes i do have a um la girl pro setting powder all over my face to set the foundation and i do have on an elf blush so damn what's going on pretty much everything is looking really really nice and everything on the skin is affordable like i said i'll leave everything down in the description box but yeah i do want to jump back into the um eyeshadow palette um i'm just i wish there was a mirror here like can 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 we get a mirror but obviously for the price point now i'm going back in with the shade ape shit which was that brown that we're using and i'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line I'm not going to do a pop of color or anything on the lower lashes only because I just want like that graphic orange liner to kind of like stand out. But so I'm using this more on a smudgy brush. Hence why it's looking a lot more darker brown, which I really like. I'm obsessed with this shade right here. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. That just did something, you know? Okay like that okay oh shit oh shit oh shit i've been dropping shit in this whole tutorial non-stop okay lower lash mascara let's get it that was it for the eyes i am now gonna put on some highlights and i want to test out this new brush which looks really really nice in size the highlighter brush that i currently use is this morphe one so as you guys can see this one is a lot more slimmer and i actually been looking for one that's a little bit tinier because with this it can kind of like you know be too much so i am excited for this like i said in the beginning i didn't pick up the highlighter that came in the jungle rock collection it was literally like pure glitter like from the tester that i've seen it was so glittery and i personally do not like glitter on my cheeks so I am just going to stick to the regular Wet n Wild formula highlighters, which I love. These are their Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. This is what these look like, and I do have two of them. This lighter one is in the shade Blossom Glow, and this second one here is called Precious Petals. So I'm actually going to go into Precious Petals today. Let me open that so that way you guys can see. 
and it is more of like a really pretty golden color but if you guys are looking for a really nice drugstore highlight i highly highly recommend these i love these i've definitely used this before Ooh, you see that yes i love the brush it is just like the perfect size for my cheek oh my god i'm so happy with both of the brushes honestly and bitch. okay if you guys have not tried precious petals i don't know what you waiting for forget that little jungle rock little shimmer glitter shit fuck that this though get that <laughs> i didn't open them okay they actually have three glosses in the collection but only two of them were in stock which were the neutral color ones because i'm not really a fan of pink glosses the other one was more pinky so this this one which is more of the darker nude is the shade fearless and the more golden one is the shade ferocity so as you guys can see this is what these look like i don't know which one i want to wear right now because they're honestly both so pretty this one is kind of like a clear with just a lot of gold glitter in it so these are what these two look like should i do the gold to bring this out yeah i'm gonna do the gold one so Ooh. okay so this is the lip with the gloss i really really like it it's not sticky or anything i really really like the formula of these glosses i really like that they're so shiny they make the lips look so juicy oh i love that last but not least i'm gonna lock this all in place using my morphe continuous setting mist i love this super affordable as well if you guys have not tried this girl i don't know what you're waiting for this is the bomb diggity the shit right here so far this is the completed look let me know what you guys think of this look and yeah i'll be right back with my hair done tell you guys all my final thoughts of these products so i'll be right back again for the millionth time in this video <laughs> all right you guys so i completely finished up my makeup and i did my hair real quick and this is what the final look is giving you guys so i want to share my thoughts on basically i want to give you guys basically a summary of how i feel about everything starting off with the wet n wild prime focus primer serum i really really like this i really did i want to actually play with it a lot more it definitely was hydrating it didn't really like wow me but obviously it's just a hydrating serum it's not really supposed to like fill in your pores make your skin look amazing like it's not all for that it's honestly just supposed to give you some nice hydration and actually give you guys a little bit of a tackiness just so that way your foundation can stick really really nice which i can see that it definitely did that moving on to the new dewy formula photo focus foundation i am obsessed with this from the moment i put it on my skin the application the finish just everything you guys now that you can see that now that there's powder and everything on the skin it doesn't look as like greasy oily like it really just gives you a natural dewy finish and i'm obsessed you guys drugstore you can't even go wrong like they definitely killed this there's no dewy formula bitch i'm so hyped because i really really like this foundation what did i do with the other brush I have so many brushes you guys so trying to just find it is about to be a fucking mission right now oh, why did I do that? moving on to the new bretman rock wet and wild jungle rock collection okay this palette like i told you guys online my honest opinion on it when i seen it online it was kind of like eh, i don't know but in person it like totally blew my mind away i love 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 the packaging It's definitely something bretman rock will give us you know hawaiian vibes and things like that and honestly the the shades in this is just amazing you guys for it being a wet and wild palette this is a 15 dollars palette you do get a lot of eyeshadows and on top of that the formula is amazing like i told you guys in the beginning i haven't tried wet and wild eyeshadows in god knows how fucking long so i didn't even know what to expect i didn't i didn't know if it was gonna be chalky if it was gonna be flaky like a uh, patchy i don't know but honestly you guys this eyeshadow look looks beautiful like honestly the shimmer on the lid the way the mattes work the inner corner that gold I just love everything i definitely want to play with the pops of colors because i did kind of keep it 
pretty neutral today besides the little orange graphic liner but i definitely want to jump into this a lot more and i'm excited to keep playing with it and of course add it into my collection highly 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 recommend that you pick up the brushes you guys only because wet and wild their stuff is so cheap and for the quality and the design like everything about these brushes are amazing literally like you cannot go wrong and last but not least of course are the glosses and honestly, I really, really like the glosses. I'm not too much of a glittery type of gloss. I just like something to give me shine and probably a little bit of color. So to be honest, I probably would gravitate towards this one more on a day-to-day -day basis. But this one definitely did not disappoint. As you guys can see on the lips, it just looks beautiful, super shiny. And in person, it definitely does have a lot of glitter. That's pretty much it for my video, trying new Wet n Wild stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below if you are gonna be picking up anything that I did mention in this video or if you did already try anything in this video comment down below what are your thoughts because I'm curious to know how you guys feel about certain products as well so yeah that was pretty much it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy this one thank you all for watching give this video a big thumbs up if you guys do like product review videos and until next time guys bye